responsibility to God, to the Church, and to history. Do not rest until the pleas of Our Lady of Fatima are heard by humanity. Do not rest until her requests are responded by many. An era of peace, a century of hope, a new Marian Pentecost, a new spring for the Church and for the world, as promised by Our Lady of Fatima. We are faithful to her message. The message of Fatima is more urgent now than ever before, more actual, more essential to the present state of moral and spiritual crisis of our civilization. Our apostolate must contribute as much as possible to offer a new criteria, a new option to solve the present crisis by turning to the ever new, ever actual, ever efficient call of the gospel, repent and do penance, convert, convert yourselves while there is still time. My gratitude goes to the Holy Father for his approval to the Pontifical Council for the Lady, to Archbishop Rico, Monsignor Miguel de Gao Galindo, and the staff members of the Council. My gratitude goes to Bishop Serafin for his inspiration and counsel for his friendship and unity. My gratitude goes to the Board of Trustees of the Apostolate for their support and devotion to the cause of Our Lady of Fatima. My gratitude goes to Mr. James Brosius for his legal counsel and expertise. My gratitude goes to our International Secretariat and our two secretaries, Nuno Braceres and Anna Reis, for their dedication and efficiency. My gratitude goes to Bishop Diego Bona, to Mother Ludovica Pellegrini, the Sisters of Blades of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and the members of the WAF in Italy for their magnificent preparations to celebrate this ceremony. Finally, my gratitude goes to the national delegates and members of the Apostolate all over the world for their patience and charity, for their prayers and penance, to achieve today's great grace, special thanks to the children and young people of the world, who by their adoration of the Blessed Sacrament and practice of the Holy Hour, may further achieve great grace